five ways your cell phone is screwing with your body and mind. Number five. It might be killing your sperm. All cell phones, if you haven't heard, emit electromagnetic radiation. It started a few years ago when researchers at the Cleveland Clinic found that men who use cell phones a lot, more than four hours a day, consistently had lower sperm quality. Okay, that could be something other than the phones themselves. Maybe low sperm guys just like phones when more virile dudes like to conduct all of their meetings face to face because there is a better chance of spontaneous sex. So, they tested it. They gathered sperm from a few dozen men and while keeping it all at the same temperature conditions, put half a foot in front of a cell phone and left the other half alone. On average, the doctors found an 85% increase in the amount of free radicals in the phone semen. Number 4 it could be ruining your children. A huge study has shown that women who regularly expose their children to cell phone emissions both while pregnant and after birth are 50% more likely to have children with behavioral problems. And we're talking about numbers that held up across a study of almost 100,000 mothers and nearly 30,000 children. That's a hell of a lot to write off to coincidence. Number 3 Texting has hacked our subconscious. Last year, an astounding 6.1 trillion text messages were sent worldwide. Yes, we said trillion with a capital T. Now think about the sheer repetition of the thumb motions a person makes while texting on a number pad phone. The average 16-year-old can probably send a text in her sleep. A study in Germany has found that dialing certain numbers into your phone triggers a subconscious reaction based on the word you would be spelling out if you were texting. A reaction strong enough to, as weird as this sounds, actually affect your mood. Number 2 Your cell phone is destroying your senses. Several years ago, a team in Israel did a study exposing cows' eyes to the kind of heat and radiation given off by phones. They found that if you do it long enough, tiny bubbles start to form in the lens of the eye, a percussor to cataracts. Then a year ago, researchers in India said the same thing, pointing out that the problem isn't just that the radiation heats up your eyeball, but that your eye doesn't have a good way to dissipate the heat into the rest of your body since it's kind of a self-contained orb up there. Not that your hearing is getting off any easier. Another study found that using your phone for 60 minutes a day over the course of four years can lead to inner ear damage, which leads to high-frequency hearing loss. Number one. Your cell phone is breaking up your family. Thanks to cell phones, husbands and wives and boyfriends and girlfriends are never truly apart. At the office, at the store, hanging out with the guys or girls, your significant other is never more than a few digits away. You would think that this constant, instant communication would strengthen relationships. No, you'd be wrong. Recent studies show that the problem is mood spillover between your work and home life. In a survey, 20% said that losing their cell phone would be equally if not more stressful than breaking up with their partner. Another part of the survey showed that 40% of cell owners would forego spending time with their significant other as long as they could keep their phone. And a staggering 33% of people would rather give up sex than give up their cell phone.